Hello, my fellow Edcats. This is Liz. We're going to go over what to do when you plug that power cord into the port or power jack on your Acer computer and you seem to get no power or indicator light or anything. If you find this video in any way helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more great content. I'm going to use my multimeter here to test it. Uh, we are going to test two different kinds of ports here. I'm going to put it on this setting. If I'm also down in the description down below, I have included a link to a model that's very similar to this one that you can uh, use. It's a good investment to get a multimeter, I find, if you're into computers uh, or any sort of electronics, uh, but uh, then they're rel relatively inexpensive. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the black one here, the black lead on the outside of the charger, because I'm going to test my charger first, because I want a process of elimination. I want to make sure the charger is giving me the right amount of power. So as you can see, I have a readout of around 18.9. And so I'm going to double check that with the power, uh, the power cord itself. Plug that in there. And I'm going to look at the brick in the back. And as you can see, it says 19 volts, which is well in the range of normal. So 18.9 is acceptable. I'm going to take the black prong and I'm going to put it on the random piece of metal far away from the red one. And I'm going to start testing uh, the different connections on the port. As you can see, it is giving me not a great readout, uh, as you can see. So I'm going to keep testing them. And this is not good results. As you can see, I'm getting a whole lot of nothing, which is telling me that this is not a good port. And in this case, because it's integrated into the motherboard, the port, it uh, means that the motherboard is itself bad. It would need to be replaced, which is why I am a big fan of having a separate uh, power jack that plugs into your motherboard. Let me show you another scenario here. Uh, this is a motherboard, and this is the power jack that plugs into it. So. I'm going to show you this one on an HP. As you can see, this is separate, so I'm just going to show you this. It's the same with every model. I just have this HP in the uh, in the shop. So, uh, as you can see, these if you peel back the tape, there's red and black wires. We are going to use the red uh, the red lead on the red wire, and then the black on the black. It's pretty simple. Make sure they don't touch, and you'll that way you'll get an accurate read. And when you're working with power, you should always be careful, obviously, because, you know, you don't want to get sloppy. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here. And I'm going to do red prong to red prong. Now that I've pulled back the tape, I can see. And I'll put the black one with the black wires. And this will give me a readout as to how much power I'm getting. And as you can see, in this case, I have a working power jack. 18.9 is well within the realm of acceptable for this particular computer. Um, if you aren't sure what your computer needs, then you can also look underneath and see what is the suggested uh, voltage rating. Uh, but anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.